Hello and good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're still in the car park at Cullen Old Kirk, yeah. where we left off yesterday. We're just about to head off. Yeah. Uh, just in the car park, and we just had a visit from two lovely people and two lovely dogs. Yeah, the cutest dogs ever. <laughs> lovely dogs. Didn't get the names, and I'm gutted. No. Absolutely gutted. I'm guessing the lady was called Pauline. Yes. Because they gave us a little present. Which, oh, I must admit, I didn't realise at the time that she might have actually met these. Yeah. I thought it was like a local Cullen... I'm guessing that is Pauline who made them. Pauline's yeah. Potent Preserves, Chili Apple, Chelly ja Chelly Jam, Jelly Jam. I'm looking forward to that with some poppadoms. <laughs> and that? this one is a mixed fruit chutney. Absolutely beautiful. And we were told we're heading to some somewhere near, I think it's near Infinite, where there's going to be a cheese shop, so they're going to go... With cheese and crackers. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we're going to head off yeah. right now, simply because we're on a right hill here. <laughs> I think you better put them in cupboard, Mazzy, yeah, and let's set off. <laughs> Come with us. Come on. So here's our first stop for this video. Yeah. It's got a beautiful name. Yeah, Bow Fiddle Rock. Bow Fiddle Rock. Yeah. Sounds a bit like Fraggle Rock. <laughs> oh, it's a bit muddy down here. Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Been going around the corner saying, I can't see it, I can't see it. It's right in front of us, Mazzy. It is yeah. beautiful. What do you think? It's so good, isn't it? It is so unusual. Yeah. You've got a cave down here. And that, my friends, is Boat Fiddle Rock. That is stunning. I just cannot see that lasting for too many years. You know, a really bad storm and that's just been a cracking out, don't you think? Yeah, or an earthquake. Earthquake? Yeah. Earthquake. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're not really seeing why it's called Bow Fiddle Rock. I'm not seeing a bow on a fiddle, really. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like the bow. Is that the fiddle? Don't know, but that is beautiful. As nice as it is, That's pretty much it from this spot. <laughs> it's beautiful. I could sit here all day. There is a nice bench here. Yeah. Just right in front of it. If the sun was on us, it's trying to come over that hill there. Yeah. It would be beautiful. There's a cave down there as well. We've already told them that. Oh, did you? You did. Did, did I? I confirmed it. <laughs> I'm so confused. Just walking down here though, I just said to Mazzy, this is such a peaceful place. Yeah. Absolute silence walking down here. And the silence has only been broken by the waves. It's beautiful. And you. And me, yeah, I never shut up. <laughs> it's my job, isn't it? The walk down to it isn't anything exciting. No. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit like a traveller's site bricks and everything all over the place. We were not expecting that. Too dear. Just on the hill here. I'm just stood in the doorway of the motorhome, beach down here, and they're just... how they've got up there, I don't know. How lovely. Are they baby ones? I would say they're very young, yeah. Is it fears that click? Mm -hmm. <whistles> oh, lovely shot of him there. Yeah, he is. And then there was three. They're just coming up from down here. I don't know how many of them there is. They must have been down on the beach. And then there was four. <laughs> That's definitely it. I've just walked down to see if there's any more down there. <clears throat> there's no more. What a lovely little unexpected treat. So we're in the harbour at Port Gordon. Uh, some lovely corderon, corderons. Corderons? They're Co huge, corderons. aren't they? <laughs> You're not going to see them with this camera properly, anyway. They're just over there on the harbour top. 
Um, yeah, we came, we want to see some seals, but they're not here at the moment. No. Not that they'd be here, they'd have been a bit further up there. So I think what we're going to do, I don't know, the day isn't going as we'd planned. So I no. Think <laughs> I'm just going to go to Tesco's back in Bucky. Yep. Um, which will take us through Bucky to see if it's worth doing Bucky. Yeah. Um, I think it might be. And then we notice there's a few like vans, motorhome type things parked up in yeah. over there. So yeah. we might park there. The only downfall for me is that that looked really muddy and just grotty, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it looked out of the way of the town. You're not disturbing the locals. There's a couple of other vans there. Yeah. And it's near where the seals are supposed to be, so yeah. hopefully we'll see them later on. And then yeah. I can plan tomorrow a little bit better than I did today. Well, we had four or five places to stop today, which we've driven through them, haven't we? So it's not your fault, babe. It's not my fault. <laughs> it just wasn't, I don't know, some of them just didn't seem worth sort of start, as pretty as they were. Just There's just not see, a lot there, is there? Yeah, filming something is different to like look at just looking at something and you know, there's houses, yeah. but there isn't many like shops or there's no statues or yeah. signs or anything. So, yeah, we're just yep. gonna do that for today and then re plan things. <laughs> we're stopping here, Mazzy. Overnight stop. Looks like there's a couple of campers down there. Well, one of them particularly looks like they've been here an awful long time. <laughs> well, that's entirely up to them, isn't it? Yeah. Where are we going to go? Down near them then? Or um, or do our own thing up here? I think down near them. But do not you? too close, obviously. Yeah. Or should we go up there? Yeah, let's go up there. That looks nice up there. Just hope we don't get stuck. It's pretty wastelandy. But we've got the beautiful view. No, we're backing up. The um, gravel down there. I said, we just don't want to get stuck today. <laughs> I remember in Ireland there was something very similar and a lot were getting stuck. Yeah. So we, I don't want to risk going on that because we don't know how deep it is. So we'll go around the other side with them. So we parked up for the night. Mm-hmm. I got my PJs on. Well, my bottoms anyway. <laughs> Getting cosy. It's all right, isn't it? It's not a bad spot. Most it's people a... wouldn't like this. It is a bit scuffy. I want to feel it's like, like an old tip. Yeah. <laughs> There's like... lots of rubbish outside, but not like dump. Well, it looks it like it was dumped, dumped about ten years ago. It. Yeah. And then spread over the field. I'll take you outside to show you. Yeah. But it's more like a. A dump. <laughs> but the view is beautiful. It's like a, how can I explain? A bit of wasteland. See what I mean? There's quite a bit of trash on the floor here. But the view is incredible, yes. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so you've got, uh, what is it, Port Gordon just here, about half a mile away. And you meant to get seals here. Now we keep seeing little black dots. We've been zooming in and every single one of them is a bird. So we're giving up for today. We're just going to chill out. I believe we're getting a visit. Hopefully. Uh, and then we're just going to chill out, have us tea and start again in the morning. Hopefully in the morning the seals will be here because <clears throat> I think the tide will be out in the morning. Right, morning people. Bit disappointed with this spot. We didn't see a single seal. No. Not one. No. Um, lots of things bobbing around, but it turned out they were birds or ducks or something. Birds. <laughs> um, but we've had a lovely time here with Jason. Uh, having a good chat with him last night, and he's given Mazet loads of wonderful gifts to try and sort herself out, a body, you know, all the problems. We'll go into that uh, later on, but we're going on to Lossy Mouth now. Um, let's see what's there. We're just going to park up for the night. Yeah. And take it from there. It was a nice stopover, wasn't it? It was lovely. Right. Give Jason a wave. Oh. <laughs> 
Is he there? Yeah, the loveliest guy ever. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Yeah, had a nice chat and stuff with him last night, didn't we? Yeah. We came in the van and... It it's not often night. we get to spend so much time with somebody, is it? We've never, apart from sort of Neil and Emma being in our van, we've never really had anyone. No. <laughs> so that was nice. Right, let's get on with this day, yeah? Yes. Glossy mouth. I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that right. Nice park up here. You're only allowed to stay one night, stay with a donation. Um, it's an unusual place, don't you think, Mazzy? Yeah. It's it's beautiful, but there's nothing here. As in, there isn't like a high street to go up. Or there doesn't seem to be. There isn't like one main road. It's it just. It might be. Maybe we just haven't seen it yet. Well, I've looked on Google Maps oh, and I can't yeah. find it. But yeah, a lovely place. Very beautiful. Just read on a sign up there. Just read on a sign up there that uh, on this Mori Firth, you know the sea out here. Yeah. The largest population of bottleneck dolphins in the world. Oh wow! Didn't know that, and we haven't seen a single one. No, not even a seal. <laughs> not even a seal. We've seen a couple of birds. That's about it. So yeah, we're just going to take a little walk on here. Maz is struggling. Yeah, I want to try and go without my walking stick today. Well, I've got I've got your fold-up one in, in my bag. bag. Yeah. Um, absolutely shattered again. Both are again now, aren't we? I yeah. don't know what it is. I think it's just that constant travelling, isn't it? Moving every day. Yeah, it's uh, been a struggle again today. So. Yeah. Probably not going to even finish a video. Don't worry though, because you'll be on holiday in a hotel for your birthday soon. It's my birthday! <laughs> I'm 27 years old on 21st of December. <laughs> right, let's go check out this beach out because yeah. it does look stunning. And it is full sun today, 2 degrees, very cold, but beautiful. So you've got a hotel and restaurant over the road there. Lovely seating here. You know, in summer, on a lovely hot day. Yeah, it's absolutely freezing today. <laughs> what a view. What a view. It's lovely. Quite a few windsurfers out there. Yeah, there's actually loads down there. Very, very pretty place. Lovely beach. Really nice beach. And we don't know what this is, but he appears to be stuck. He does look stuck, doesn't he? I don't know if he's trying to make a path going across there or he is actually just stuck. I think that's what he's doing, but I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck as well. He's going on the side. Really fancied going in Beaver Bridges today, but can't. Roadworks. Whenever I want to go, there's roadworks. Now he's actually just dumped all his rocks off the back. I think because he's stuck. I don't know, I don't know if he's meant to be dumping them there to make a bridge or what, I don't know, but... He's stuck. He looks stuck to me. Yeah, everyone's watching him. <laughs> yeah, everyone's out with the cameras taking pictures of him, he must feel like a right wally. So there's this incredible bridge here, which looks like it gets you onto the beachy bit. It's just beautiful. But we're not going on it, Mazzy. Aww. It's too it far. Is. Yeah. You're going at like minus four mile an hour today. There's no by the time we get over there and back. It'll I'm be dark. sticking to the speed limit. Anyway, the man down there did get his machine out. He had to dump his load. <laughs> Just in the middle of this big pile of rocks. <laughs> and his uh, colleagues has, have just told us we should go for a swim. It's lovely in there. Don't think we're going to do that. Nah. Yeah, we're just going to turn around now, are we? There's not, doesn't seem to be much more up there. Oh, no. We'll go to the van and then up the other end, yeah. see what's up there, because I think that's like a harbour bit with some nice boats. Lossy Mouth Marina. They're all parked very well. All in line, look. Better than your parking. What do you mean it's better than my parking? We all know your, about your parking. And the first in. So this is it really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lossy mouth. 
It's a beautiful place, but there's really nothing here, certainly in winter anyway. That's a big anchor. Uh-huh. Recovered on or about 1882. It's a beauty. Look at the ring on it itself. That must be like nearly two foot, foot and a half. This is a museum by the way, Lossy Mouth Fisheries and Community Museum. It's only open between April and October. Oh, you've looked already? I know everything about everything. How many <laughs> times do I have to tell you? It's a nice building. Okay. It's a nice place. It has got a lovely feel to it. It's just yeah. unusual, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, a very, very bitty vlog. Yeah. All over the place. We're all over the place. <laughs> We're all over the place. But I think we're finally settled. I don't know where we are, do you? <laughs> don't know where we no. are. No. It is called... Just bear with us. We know where we... Well, we sort of know where... No, we don't know where no, we, we are. No, we don't. We travelled more further than we thought. Burghead. Burghead. We're in Burghead. Beautiful, beautiful spot. There's our spot. Check that out for a lovely view. We have been treated to some very nice uh, views this last Quite week. Quite recently, yeah, we've been very spoiled. Right <laughs> next to the sea. Yeah. There's a smell at the moment, yeah, right? Yeah, it's made me want to rest. It smells a bit like I beef and tomato pot noodle, hot. but really strong. It smells kind of hoppy from, like, let's say, brewery. It might be, might be. Yeah. Anyway, not going to reveal what it is today. But I've just found out what my birthday present is from Mazzy. He just got an early birthday present. <laughs> well, being told what it's going to be, I ain't got it yet. Right, we're going round Burghead. Uh, Liverpool are playing at three. We yeah. slept in today, didn't we? Wow. Gosh, I don't understand half 10, why. 11? No, it was half 11. Was it? Stupid o'clock. And I fell asleep twice yesterday. I slept really well last night and still got up at half 11. What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> we are exhausted. Yeah. We are really, really struggling at the moment. So we're it's... planning uh, We're planning a couple of campsites up to us, run up to Edinburgh. Yeah. Not Edinburgh, I keep Inverness. saying. Inverness. Inverness. Because we're going to have a good week planned then for the Christmas and everything. Yes. So we're looking for... And your birthday, of course. And my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday, 21st of December. I'll be 27 years old, so everyone get ready to sing happy birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to have a quick look around here. Yeah. And then maybe pop in for a drink if there's a pub open before football at 3 o'clock. Oh! Baby, shall I get my brolly? No. Uh, Father Ted's just parked next to us. Oh, this is funny. Look, they've had to tie it down with rocks either side with rope. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cute. It is. That is, is, that, is that scene out of Father Ted you can imagine happening, can't you? And they're both diddly dying and all that. I could that. have sworn I saw a light in that <laughs> last night. Really? I thought I did. There was a few of us down here, weren't there? Yes. Well, three of us all together. Harvest Reaper. This has got an information board. Let me just check it out. It's got a really fascinating story, actually. Has it? The Harvest Reaper. Yeah. In 1946. Yeah. Right, there was a, an aircraft. Right. A Firefly aircraft. This one. Yes, <laughs> that one, okay. So I have read it. Um, got into difficulties six miles off the coast, just here. What, the aeroplane or the, the boat? The aeroplane. Oh, right, okay. And it came down and its wing actually cut off the mast of this boat. Wow. You can see, like, a picture there that's what it would have looked like it took the mast down and the people on the boat tried to save the pilot but unfortunately couldn't oh. um, it was a 20 year old called David Williams born in Liverpool oh. bless him so seeing some action as this thing I believe this was a Pictic Pictish fort I think that's what these humps and bumps are all about not sure I'm not usually wrong, so I just presume that is or was a Pictish fort. Right, we're actually looking for the well. Yeah. It's behind these houses somewhere. Right, we found a sign for it. It's in an unusual place. Yeah. Right in the centre of a housing estate. Yeah, I don't even know what to expect, do you? Uh, a well. What's so special about you? I don't know anything about it, I'll oh, be you honest. Don't. Till we get there. 
I wonder if it's going to be one of them where you have to walk around it five times and pull your pants down, pull them back <laughs> up, stick your tongue out and pray to God and stuff like that. Mm. And then your dreams come true. Another sign, but we still haven't found it. We're going down a little ginnel now. Ginnel? Where is it? A little alley for anyone that is English, don't know what a ginnel is. Ginnel? Yeah, you call them ginnels, we call them alleys. Actually, no, I think my mum used to call them a ginnel. I, yeah. I call it a snicket. Oh, a snicket, there's another word. When I were a kid, it was a snicket. Ah, oh, that's interesting. It's what shut. It? What? I've been here before. Why would they shut it? I've been here before. Have you? I remember because I couldn't get in then either. <laughs> oh, can you see anything? Um, oh, I have been here before. It's down them steps, Mazzy. You can get the key from the visitor's centre. I think I might have come in last time. I, I'm not sure. I do remember it was summer. Oh, wow. Why did they shut that off? I don't know. <laughs> What's it say that? Let's have a quick read. No, definitely shut. Easter till September, we could have got a key. So, should we explain what it actually is then? Go on then, because I don't know. Right, okay, so the pool is 1.3 metres deep. All the way round to what if you wanted to walk round it, you've got 0.9 millimetre of tippy toe space to walk round it. So, it's a big pool, basically. Don't sound it, but go on. Well, it, it's a pool. Um, Come back to me. Oh yeah, no, no, come back to me. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why I read the information boards. But on this occasion and on this day, I can't be bothered reading. So you're not gonna find out about that. If you want to know more about that, check out my video I did there about five, six years ago. Did you definitely get in? I think I did, yeah. Did you? I, I vaguely remember someone else coming at the same time and I passed the key on to them oh. uh, and it was quite cool in there anyway let's see if there's anything else in Berghead mm -hmm. I hope we're saying that right Berghead Berghead we'll be corrected we tend to say everything else wrong don't we well, we say it how it's spelled don't we I mean locals then might call it something else like Berghead or Berghead Berghead Black. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the harbour. You treated me, didn't you? You took me. <laughs> My favourite place, isn't it? I love it here. No caravans allowed down here. Oh, well, I could do that. On the other side of that sign. Yeah, pretty obvious, I suppose. <laughs> it's very bleak and drab. It's because it's winter, obviously, but um, we were just saying it is very, very quiet today. Extremely quiet, yeah. I haven't seen a single soul. Not even a car, have we? Have no. we? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Information board. But as I did say, I'm not reading today. Can't be bothered. <laughs> it's your day off. It's my day off. <laughs> but I have read one little bit and it's just tickled me a little bit, Mazzy. Yeah, which bit? You've got the harbour here. Yeah. And round here somewhere you've got Riddock Bow. Oh. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah. Famous boxer called Riddock Bo. Is there? I'm sure there is. <laughs> he was pretty good as well. I think he was world champion actually. So what is it? A rock structure? I don't know. Riddock Bo. It actually looks like a whale bone. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I was asking. Yeah. But I don't know. But Riddock Bo. I'm sure Riddock Bo were a boxer. Riddock Bo. I wouldn't know. Why would you call it after a boxer from America? Maybe the boxer was named after the bow. Really? <laughs> Never know. Fancy being called after a, a Riddock Bow in Burghead. Have you ever been to the Sueno Stone? Hmm. I think I have. Have you? I think so. I have. Have you? Have you been? Do you want to see it? It's huge. It's special. It's just round the corner. Shall we go see the stone? Let's go. Come on then, we're going to show you its stone. Suena's stone. Last time we were here, Mazzy, yeah. this was lit up. Was it? I'm sure it was lit up. Well, it's got lights. Yeah, the big lights here. But I'm sure it looked better than that. It looks a bit more worn this time. I know, I know it's like 
thousand years old or something. It's so nice. I think I remember it being bigger. Yeah, it's as if they've cooked up off it and they've <laughs> weathered it a few years since we were here. Go and see the sign. Let's have a quick look at the sign because I can't remember anything about it. Yeah. All I know is there's loads and loads of little people on that. It's starting to rain, so I'm not going into too much detail. It is Pictish, so it's from the 9th, 10th century, and they found it in the ground in the 1800s, and they don't really know where it came from. But if you look here, that shows you exactly what it looks like. Loads of different men on it. It's pretty good, but you know when you've seen something before? Yeah. It don't get any better, does it? You can't get excited again, you no. mean. <laughs> but on the way here, we saw something which did excite us. Yes. So we're going to stop around the corner mm -hmm. to see another stone. It, it does sound exciting. It's called... The Witch's Stone. The Witch's Stone. Right outside the police station. Yeah. Where I don't think you're allowed to park. So we'll just go park there and have a look at it. Okay, so I'm not parked in a very good spot at all, so I'm going to have to make this quick because I'm right outside the police station. It's a witch's stone. Check this out. An amazing story. Um, from Cluna Hill, witches were rolled in stout barrels through which spikes were driven. Where the barrels stopped, they were burned with their mangled contents. This stone marks the site of one such burning. It's a very, very sad song, uh, story because obviously there's no such thing as witches. Um, oh, look at that. Witch, I love you. Bless them. And to think they actually did this to people. Scum of the earth. They should have really done this to the people who ordered that to happen, shouldn't they? Poor, poor woman who laid here. You can imagine her in a barrel, all mangled up and then set on fire. Absolutely disgusting how they treated people back in the day. Anyway, I better move this van before the police come. So, Formula One, last race of the season. It's on in 30 minutes. So that's the end of this vlog. Mm -hmm. The bittiest vlog we've ever done. Yeah. You're not having a Sunday live today. You're having this instead. <laughs> um, no, we're going on to a campsite. Uh, we don't know what the signal's going to be like until we're on the campsite, so we couldn't really yeah, just... say whether we're going to do it or not. But we'll, I don't know, we might try and do one tomorrow night or the night after or through the week or something. Yeah. We'll see how we get on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching and we will catch you maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Love y'all. Bye-bye. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it.